What's up, you two buzz? Continuing on with this uh, super glue baking soda trick. Somebody asked me if it would bond to plastic, and I did that. Uh, I've got two or three videos up about hard plastic, soft plastic, but somebody asked me about a gas tank plastic. So I have a an old snowblower plastic gas tank. What I'm going to do is uh, put a bit in a drill. I'm going to drill a hole down by the bottom here. I'm also going to take a knife and make a little slice somewhere else to, uh, you know, reduplicate the, a crack. You know, and we'll try that. But, uh, so, let's uh, get her going here. Drill bit. What size should we use? I don't know, something too big, I guess, but uh, well, something about that size, huh? All right. I'm gonna make it tankle sit good like this. So I'm going to make the hole over here on the side and then I'm going to put gas in it after it's dry and we'll let it sit and we'll see if the gas, uh, if it's gas soluble, you know, if it eats through it or we'll do it, get it done and then uh, I'll put gas in it and then we'll let it sit for uh, you know, a week or something and if it's still holding I'll make a video. Another week, I'll make another video. After two weeks, if it's still holding, I guess it's gas soluble. So, let's see where we can make this hole. Okay, this is doing bar right there. Okay, you see the hole? Okay, now about the same spot on the other side. I don't cut my finger off here. Oh. Okay. See the slice? What we're going to do is try both of those. So, same as always with... I use a emery cloth. It's for plumbing. It's a, it's a good sandpaper and it's very flexible. So as usual, we're going to uh, clean it up. All around the hole. Clean up is a big, huge part of getting it to stick. Now let's try the crack. Uh, like I said, that's the best I can think of to do to act like, you know, a plastic tank got a crack in it. Okay. And we're all sanded on the crack. We're all sanded on the other one. So here's what I'm going to do with the hole. Just from doing metal and other stuff I've done. I'm going to do is put some super glue around the hole first. And then bake and soda it. Hopefully to get it to uh, fill in a little better. Because when I was doing uh, wood, thin metal, thick metal, uh, plastic, so on, so on. The wood I had some problem with because it would soak in before you could get the uh, baking soda on after the super glue. So I ended up, well, watch the wood one, you'll see, but. Okay, so what we did was go around it. Now let's see if it'll fill. What I, sh what I was thinking is I put a little bit on top. If, it, if it'll hold there long enough for the 
baking soda to uh, do its job. If not, we'll dump a little baking soda just into the hole, brush it off, and then, you know, put some super glue on it. Well, it seemed to work pretty well. It took really good. I mean, it's a uh, hard as a rock. But if I should do any more, just to make sure. I think it. You can see the glue came way up over the hole. So, you know what? I think I'll do just maybe a little bit more, just because there's some pits. Like I said in all my other videos, super glue, I get this at the dollar store. Two tubes for a buck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bitch. It was, a, you know, $10 a tube, I'd be a little more uh, forgiving, but seeing as though it's so cheap, I'm not gonna bitch. So I think that will pretty much, we'll leave it at that for this. We'll see what it looks like, but, uh, I'm pretty sure look at that nice and hard I think it filled the hole really good okay so there's the uh, the hole now let's work on the I mean, I can just barely see the the crease. Obviously, if we filled this up right now, turned it over and put gas in, it would seep right out of there because it is cut all the way through. But I'm just wondering if I shouldn't, uh, on this, maybe try putting some super glue or baking soda in the crack. And let's see if we can... Look at that, that's in the crack. Let's try that. Maybe we'll try this first, just to fill the gap a little bit, you know? And now, we'll put some over the top. But that way we put some baking soda down in the groove, you know? <clears throat> right down into that groove first, so that would take first then the super glue I put on over it to harden that baking soda, we'll put the baking soda over the top of the glue that spread out. Uh, I was thinking on a thicker, it might be best to take like a little Dremel or even a little file if, you know, or whatever. I'd, I'd use a little Dremel and maybe just do a buzz a little bit on each side, get a little bit of a cut in there if it was thicker. This is pretty, uh, pretty thin, so I don't know, but... Look at that. That's pretty nice. Man, this stuff works so good. I was wondering if it's gas soluble though. I'm gonna do one more little thing of super glue and a little bit more baking soda because I got this cleaned up. I did notice in most of my tests too that the strength of this comes in the abundance. Like when I was doing the metal again. When I got the best adhering was when I went way back, you know, and got a lot of area clean and did a lot of area. That, uh, that seemed to work the best. So, like I said, for a buck a tube, and shit, this stuff is, uh, it's a three and a half pound bag. I've been using this crap forever. And it's, uh, bag's probably a year and a half, two years old, and believe me, I've done a ton of testing. And I don't even look like I've took anything out of the bag yet. But when I dump a lot on like that, I always dump the access back into the bag. Just, you know, not wasting it, I guess. But now look at that. Nice, clean, smooth finish. Uh, if I plug that and blow in the cap. <laughs> solid. That tastes like shit. Ugh. That was dumb. This whole tank's been laying around. <laughs> Probably just say spider crap and whatever. Okay, 
So the hole is done very nice and the crack is done very nice. Now what I'll do is uh, get some um, gas and I'll put a little bit of gas in it. Let me, uh, let me see if I got any gas right here. Hang on. What do you know? I do. So, just so you know, I'm dumping gas into this right now. It's gonna come out the the gas tube back there if I don't if I put too much in. So let's do this. Okay, we'll get that up in the air. There we go. Now I'll put some more in there. Make sure I get over the. I'm just about over it now, but let's do this anyway. There we go. Now we're filled just right here to the bottom of the tube, which is way more than enough to cover that. And this one's even lower than that one, so we're good. So now I will leave it. If it if it's if it leaks today or in a couple hours or whatever, I'll make another video just saying scratch this because it leaked. But like I said, if it don't, I'll let it go for maybe, you know, three days sitting here and see if it uh, leaks. If it don't, uh, maybe I'll make a video at three days saying she's still holding good. Or if it's still holding good, maybe I'll, I should just wait like a week so I'm not making 10 videos about this one thing. So there you go. We'll, uh, we'll see if she holds. It's a... Uh, Baking soda, super glue on a plastic gas tank, and it's full of gas. Man, what a nice day, huh? I'm in Minnesota. It's in the 40s today. I think we're done plowing. I'll be uh, doing my cleanups pretty quick. Starting my uh, spring cleanups. Anyway, uh, that's it. We'll see if she leaks, and I will make another video. Again, if there's anything you want me to try with this super glue baking soda trick, leave it down in the comment and, and I'll, uh, I'll make a video just for you. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.